Hello, everybody. This is Gold League Gamer One, and we're back with a brand new race. Uh, this time we are racing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Race Rescue Team DX, and this was Silver Wolf's pick. For okay, I gotta look up what game it is because it's been Monkey Ball Two. I was running up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. Blitz that's right. Yeah, yeah. Blitz Bales. Okay, so Silver, tell us how we're gonna do this long game. This is a long game. We're gonna play it, and uh, <laughs> there is some RNG-based things, and we're just gonna deal with that. And uh, basically, we're gonna get to the end of the main game. And for spoilery reasons, I won't say what the final boss is because apparently that upset somebody earlier. But uh, <laughs> we're not doing the post game. It'll become obvious which is the final boss once we get there, and credits yep. will start rolling. So we're good. Yep. Uh, but yeah, hey, so other than that. <laughs> Okay, so everyone should be on the uh, the confirmation screen that says yes or let me choose again. Yep. Yep. All right. On one, three, two, one. Woo! All set. Get Go for it. Of Pokemon. Go, Go for, for it, man. All right, here we go. Good luck, Good luck Team Cyndaquil and Gold. <laughs> Team Cyndaquil <laughs> and Gold. At the end of the day, all that matters is that Gold does not win, so Team Cyndaquil wins. <laughs> Is this a 3v1 race now? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> this is a collaborative effort. Come on, wake up. So, oh, just for the Cyndaquil. audience's sake, uh, I'm playing as Squirtle and my partner is Cyndaquil. I'm being Cyndaquil, my partner's Pikachu. I'm Cyndaquil, my partner's Cubone. Also, who do we name our partners exactly? Cyndaquil. <laughs> <laughs> I, called, I called mine QB. I called mine Phosphora. Phosphora. It's getting for surprising great game. Yep. Yes, me. That is indeed hey. me. I have become the snoot. I have become the turtle. I almost named myself Squirtle. You know what? Just because I didn't name my partner, I'm going to name myself. I just called myself A. <laughs> this is well. At least you're honest. This is a sign well, of things to come. Well, I was holding down the. F B button. I'm a, just I'm a dog. I named myself Woof. I named myself <laughs> Woof. 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 Arf. Woof. The heck does Arf mean? Arf. It means bark. Bark. Alright, I'm supposed to not record my game audio, aren't I? Whoops. Eh. Well, I mean, you can if. It can be muted anyway, so it's not yeah. that bad. Yeah, that's true. Mo use moves with A. I don't have access well, to the I'm not in. I'm not in up. Tiny Woods B1F. Shut up, Cyndaquil. Oh, no. We're in a mystery dungeon. Wow. It's almost like it's the name of the game. Weird. Would you like to go on? Yes. I missed. And then I fired. And then I missed. And, and then I missed again. Times. And then I fired. And then I missed. And then I misfired. I missed both times. <laughs> then I had a popsicle. Then I, got, then I ran out of ammo. Then I got sad. Then I passed out in the snow. There we go. Water gun. Never mind. Is it? Can I speed this, this up? Very interesting. Uh, uh, interesting options. type of RPG here. It's, it's a dungeon crawler. Fast. This, this more or less uh, reminds me of uh, the format of Super okay. Paper Mario in a way. Right. It reminds me. The art style reminds me more of um, how Kingdom Hearts 3 does the 100 Acre Woods. Yeah, kinda. Uh, Shut up, tutorial. I want to play game, not read. I know, right? Grid speed. And Charmander gets the orange berry. What floor is everybody on? Floor 3. I just got to floor 3. I'm on Same. B2F. Ooh, starting next to the stairs. Stairs club. Ah, uh, fucking RNG. Found Caterpie. Oh, found the stairs. Charmander picked up a hundred coins. Found Caterpie. Don't worry, small little caterpillar. We won't kill you. Yes. I am a barking turtle. Arf, arf. Woof. <laughs> On to B3F. You know, Andrew, that joke will work better when you're a war turtle. <laughs> Just and this is woof, woof, Arf. <laughs> uproar. So gold question. Yes. 
What would be the feasibility of potentially doing either sword or shield for a race? You can oh, beat that game in under five hours, but... Yeah. Sword or shield? Uh, oh, is that... Oh, it, if it's the on Gen the Switch, games, yeah. then we... If it's on the Switch or any any consoles I own, then it's a possibility. That's okay. generation, the generation I don't care about. What generation? This is the only exception. <laughs> What game? Oh, Sun and Shield. That's one of the newer ones, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sun and Shield. Sword and Shield. It's actually Sword, Sword and Moon. Shield. Yeah, that's one of the newer ones, right? Yep. It's yeah, the newest. It's the newest game that came out in November. Okay, then it then must be on the Switch, which means it could work. It is. Yes. Okay. In other words, if Sonic Geek picks it, <laughs> I'm in. Okay. Oh, apparently, we're Team Tenacity. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm naming my team Team Cyndaquil. Oh, I should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I just went with. Mine just automatically went to Team Lightfoot, and I just went with it. Yeah, that was mine. Mine was Team Tenacity. Mine was Team Treasure. No, we're Team Cyndaquil. That's the team. Oh, that's fine. We're not Team Team Cyndaquil. Everyone ditched me. I'm gonna be Team R. I'm gonna be Team Arf. You know what? Yeah. Look, look we are Arf. Team Cyndaquil. We just forgot to put the name. Yep. Team Arf. <laughs> Out the door. And title screen. I'm now and wearing a credit. I beat the game. Next game. Two way. Oh god, I love this game's visual style so much. It, it, it's, it's so cute. good. It's very reminiscent of the original like art book artwork. Oh, it's based on the original uh, artwork, very, and that's why I like it so much. Yeah, it feels very sto like story. Because like the game looked amazing <laughs> back then. Like in my opinion, uh, Rescue Team yeah, and yeah. Explorers age very well. Yeah, I'd the say Super Age pretty good. long, but that, that hasn't aged long enough to really judge. <laughs> yeah. The only one no one likes is Gate to Infinity anyway. What's that? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Even I've never played Gates to Infinity. I don't bother. It's a, it's a, it's a prototype version of Super. Yeah, it's almost so beaten it, and I just said I don't want to. <laughs> Check I got the near the end and just gave up. Not because I got stuck, but because I got bored. It's not that good of a game. I did beat the game when it came out, but it's just not impressive. No. I got up to uh, that's Kiro, good. and that's pretty much as far as I got, though. Which it was the end game, at least. Yeah. That being said, though, it does have the best incarnation of a Final Boss theme, period. Next. I don't think I heard it. The Bitter Cold theme is a remix of Diaga's Fight to the Finish. Oh. Neat. Now to help a bunch of Magnemite. I will admit that even though I'm not a fan of the game Gates to Infinity, the, the OST is like top notch. Mm -hmm. That's the case for most po or for Oops. most Nintendo games, and then Breath of the Wild is uh, like, hello. Options. <laughs> that was more about Remember? atmosphere. Let's be real. Okay, I think that's just. All right, we do the we do the pose. Yeah. Moving quarters. I mode. Clunk. There we go. Dash. Thunder Wave Cave. Woo! Why did I try? Why am I dumb? Oh my god. Stop talking We're to my dumb. partner. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Guys, please stop saying that. We need to go save your friend. <laughs> Magnemite. Let's go. Don't give me a tutorial on how to dash. I know how to dash game. I've played this game so many times. What is the dash button? Buy my book. <laughs> Big the Cat, the audiobook. <laughs> oh, the music in this game. Oh, I just I just want to listen to the soundtrack instead of actually playing the game. Can Do it. That? That, that, that way it's easier for one of us to win. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I've actually listened to the full OST of this game on multiple occasions. Just just the full thing start to finish for funsies. Whee! Good. No regrets. Would do again. Probably after this race. 10 out of 10. <laughs> yes, cool. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah, oh, look, that's me. Immediately starting you probably wonder how I got in the situation. There's <laughs> now. Oh, they got mail now. You've, You've got, got mail. mail from a desperate Maybe boy. Maybe it's a rescue job <laughs> offer. What does it say? Oh, it says words. Oh, look, a needle. Man. About your, you from Caterpie. We need your Caterpie. Is the trouble? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like Caterpie. Caterpie. Let's be real. I know, but still. Because you gotta admit, because of the last three letters! 
Wait, no, that's, I why, I, that's why I didn't give you shit for it, because honestly, it's it's. it's I have a question for you. Is it a cat, or is it a pie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Yay, Thunder Wave up. Cave. Gotta go to Thunder Wave Cave. Right. Okay, cool. We got a max ether. Let's go. Floor five. Well, floor six. Oh, okay. Thunder Wave Cave. B1. I'm on floor five. Well, I see I'm how done. it is. Wait, you're on floor five already? Jeez. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm already out. You guys out. also already on Thunder Wave Cave? Yes. Oh, God. The problem with racing a mystery into games is that a lot of it is RNG. Two on my it's screen, kind of why I'm surprised me. someone actually picked this. To be fair, it's not too much, it's just when you get good door spawns like enough. that, it's fair. Yeah, and to be honest, in a full long game like this, it's kind of fair because everyone has the same chance to get it. And if you get really lucky early on, I might get really lucky later on, you know? Yep. B2F. No, don't give me level ups. No. <laughs> I don't uh, need, you need three. level ups to, to, to have any chance at the end of the game. Yep. It's just that the stream <laughs> takes a while to go away. Yes, but I don't need it in the second dungeon. Yep. Wait, Pikachu, why do you know Grass Knot? What's up? Yeah, Pikachu knows Grass Knot in this game. It's weird. That's weird. Go away. Stop being slow. Give me stats and go oh, no. That can't be good. No, I'm radioactive. That can't be good. Whew. Okay. Found the Magnemites. That's good. good oh my god. I'm getting really unlucky with my positionings. I'm on my way to the Why am I under office. a time limit? B3F. Time limit? What? Okay, right next to Pikachu's HP count, there's a number that's going down every second. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's your hunger. Oh. That, that's hunger? your belly. You can you eat apples and berries and you fill it up. If you run out of hunger, you slowly take damage until you die. That's a mystery dungeon thing, not a Pokemon thing. And even then, it's not super hard to deal with. Just eat an apple when you're like at 50 health and you'll be fine. Or yep. 50 hunger. Well, I haven't seen. Well, I haven't seen any on this on this route. And that's why we're here. Besides, you'll get an apple later as a treasure. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Well, that 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 reminds me of Adventure Where's Island in a way. Adventure Island Two in a way. It's nowhere close to the same thing. <laughs> no, no, Adventure Island Two. There's a there's a hunger meter, and if that yep. runs out, you get a, yep. you yep. get a death. Well, yeah, but in this game, the death doesn't happen straight away. Yeah, if you run out of hunger, your health slowly starts to go down. Yeah, you just need to you eat die. something. And the game warns you, just like you need to eat something. You'll f you'll pass out from dizziness. Okay, I forget. Now we just gotta go around and do odd jobs for a bit until we get the next progression in the story, right? Yep. Yeah. Right. I'm on B five F right now. Or in Barry. <laughs> oh, I wish there was an option to skip cutscenes, but I can't. Me too. Same. Uh, oh, if we could skip cutscenes, we could probably finish this in like a single setting. <laughs> I don't know about a single setting, but we'd be able to. It'd be one night. That's what I mean. Uh, yeah, I, I don't do think this jobs. game allows cutscenes to be skipped. No, nah, that's doesn't. what we're saying. We're, we were saying if we could, this would be done much faster. Yeah. If we could skip cutscene, this would easily be a one nighter. Yeah. <laughs> Let you go on, yes. Okay. Let's learn about You know what Thunder game does that you skip cutscenes? Resident Evil. <laughs> what other game does let you skip cutscenes? I could still skip cutscenes. Yeah, like Thunder Wave Cave. You know, back in like earlier days, like I didn't even get upset that you couldn't skip cutscenes in like Ocarina of Time. And then I started playing uh, randomizers that don't have those cutscenes. And then when I went back to Ocarina of Time, I've been spoiled. I don't like yeah, that anymore. That's what it does. Do you man. play the game, you enjoy the cutscene the first time, and then you're like, now I never want to see this again. <laughs> Next morning. And then you just want to play the game. But now I'm learning about item storage as if I've never seen a Kangaskhan before. <laughs> rumble, rumble. Hello, Diglets. Tickle a dig, diggle a dig, trio, 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 trio. 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 
Trio, trio, trio. I forget, is it a specified number of jobs that we gotta take, or is it just we gotta do that many days? I think it's like three jobs. It's a certain number of jobs. If okay. you get lucky enough, you get them in like one day, you can. It's different number of jobs for different uh, parts of the game. I know that, but I don't remember the Oh my goodness, is I got three things for Thunder Wave Cave, so I'm off to there. Shoot, shoot nice. on that. I also got three things for Thunder Wave Cave. Nice! Me too. Andrew, high five! Special high Damn. five. Okay. I do love how you can just take the job and you don't have to accept it in this version. It's just automatically mm -hmm. accepted. That's nice. Yeah, because how many times I've gone through, taken a job, gone to the place, and then just been like, oh, I didn't accept it, so they're not here. Because that makes sense. <laughs> oh, you're not allowed to help me. Why? You didn't open the letter, but it's right here. Too late. Hooray, sucks. Goodbye. And level up. Okay, Phosphor leveled up. Let's go. No, I don't want to lose screen. Yeah, it, it prompted me to learn that too. Just like, no, I don't need that. Head for the stairs. Cool, let's go get the Voltorb. Hooray, we found Voltorb. Who'd <laughs> you? I found my execute, so I'm moving on. I found my like it's one moving on. For post office. Head for the stairs, yes. Post office. Sonic Boom! No, Sonic Boom. a great Geek. show. There's Eggy. Man, where's my flash kick when I need it? <laughs> left. Look to your left, you'll find it. The Pelipper Post Office. Or the stairs. Did you say go? Let's go. Pelipper Post Office. What about no, it? Oh, you gotta, oh. you gotta pick up some odd jobs from there before you can leave. I'm trying to find the Pelipper Post Office. Just go to the right. Go all the way to the right. Hooray. Okay, I'm there. Okay. Now let's get out of here. Run. And there's the sun. Okay, coming. job's completed. Let's get out of here. Did you finish all three already? Yeah. Yep. Nice. I'm almost caught four. up to you. I'm I'm in that the same room as the yeah, third one now. I just have a couple of enemies to beat first. Come on. Great, I did that yeah, thing again where I actually rewards. Oh yeah, let's get out of here. Yes, I want to escape. Let me out. Whew. Yeah. Oh god, that's nice actually. If you fill out all your requests, but forget to say, but forget to say yes to leaving. If you get to the door, the stairs, it'll ask you again if you want to leave. That's convenient. Yes, it is. Very much so. Okay, give me them violet seeds. Yep. All right, I left my three missions. Fan seeds, you're banned. Oh no. You're. Don't banned. swing the ban hammer at my seeds. Uh, cover band. The job's available, so. Okay, bye, Phosphora. This happy little trio. Wormple. Wormples are adorable. They are. Yes, they are. Why are there so many cute bug type Pokemon? Because bug types surprisingly can be cute if you make them cartoony instead of realistic. <laughs> Diggler, dig, 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 trio, 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 trio. trio. I was having a blast digging tunnels in front of the Pelter Post Office, so much that I kept on digging. Whoops. Tunnel over here. Tunnel over there. Tunnels everywhere. Woohoo, digging is fun. Uh, where am I? <laughs> Pelipper! Why Pelipper? Mount Steel. Let's go. Thunder Wave Cave first. Wait, you're on a Mount Steel already? Yep. How? I did three jobs and it didn't give it to me. Uh, I did four, actually. Fuck! Oh, well, I guess I'm doing tiny woods again, then. <laughs> yeah, I have... Did you have four for the same location? I had... No. For Pikachu. 
I had one for the Tiny Woods and three for Thunder Wave Cave. Dang That's it. What I had too. How fast are you going, geek? Uh, pretty fast. <laughs> you fucking nerd. <laughs> Just use the auto. I can forget the auto wouldn't even exist. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, there we go, then. <laughs> Sad as flinch. Hey, can you stop making me flinch? Thank you. Treasure box. Cool. Move on. Oh, would you look at that? I, I spawned right next to my guy I gotta save. Lovely. <laughs> Lucky. Luckily, I made it to him, too, so it's okay. Moving on. <laughs> Get me out of here. Stair spawn. Get me out of here. Oh, okay. God. Oh, I'm right behind you and a million years behind Sonic Geek. <laughs> I am so happy I... Oh, perfect Apple and Reviver Seeds. Those can be useful because Skarmory can be a bit rough the first time. Yep. Yeah. I've noticed that if you pick any uh, fighting or grass types in this game, you just get screwed because most of the bosses are flying type. Yeah, especially endgame boss, let's be real. Yep. Yeah. Oh god, if my partner was grass in the original version, I suffered in that dungeon. I I, I feel your pain. So I was water type back it's then, so it wasn't too big of a hassle for me. I'd like to go on, yes. Floor 5. This is actually my first time playing any mystery dungeon game as not either Riolu or Pikachu, by the way. Ah, interesting. Peter ran to Poochiena. Poochiena is happy. <laughs> I, on the other hand, I, like how, the... I like how Team Cyndaquil is here going as fast as possible, then in the background there's gold. <laughs> yeah. I've actually played the um, original Mystery Dungeon through like five or six times. I did it about like twice, because I had the original and Blue Rescue Team as well. Yeah, I, I played a lot of Blue Rescue Team. I never actually played through Red Rescue Team because I got Blue Rescue Team first. And I love the controls, and the controls seemed a bit clunky for Red Rescue Team to the point where I couldn't play through it. Well, I didn't have a DS back then, so I would have no way of knowing. Yeah, I, I had a GBA first, so I had red, and then later got blue. I got blue on launch day, because blue and red released the same time, and I could only get one. I'm like, I may as well get my favorite Yay. color for the system afterward. <laughs> I didn't have a DS at the time either, like, just like Sonic <laughs> I gave up getting a DS to get a GameCube. I already had a GameCube, so I was content. <laughs> I do love how Nintendo actually, uh, like when they're phasing out a system, they'll release like a version of a game on one system and then again on the other system right afterward. Like Kinda Twilight like how they Princess, do Breath of the Wild, the Wild on Wii U and Switch, and uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon on Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS. I just love that. It's like. Oh, we, we made this game for this system, but we want a game on the next system, too. So if you want to get the next system, here Box you have a game. Okay. And if you can't afford it yet, you're not going to miss out. Hey, congratulations, AI, on going in a complete circle. I gotta ask... This is why you can't trust auto mode. Yeah, I gotta ask, Sonic Geek, what floor are you on in Mount Steel now? Uh, seven. Ouch. FK, B4F. Okay, or, oh, moving on oh, to floor Uchiana's 8. here too now, okay? I'm on floor 2 at the moment. Uchiana was and right I'm away? Okay, that was a quick job. Yeah, sometimes they're really quick, and other times they're like at the complete opposite side of the... Yeah, other level. times they take no time yeah, at all. It's sure. really just luck. Max Ether. Drink. Use on. Sex to the dungeon if there are no more jobs left. Here. No, no. Well, that didn't miss game. You're lying to me. Oh, that's why, that's why Pikachu has grass now, so it can deal with ground types, duh. Forget the Zigzagoon. Let's move on. Two max elixirs. I leveled up. Both okay, there's a drop over there. I'm not dealing with that, though. Hello, Skarmory. Gold Ribbon and Max Elixir. I'm getting so unlucky. I've been in every room on this floor, and it was literally the one right next to the that I missed. All right, fifth floor. Oh no. I'm falling behind. Hello, Skarmory. 
I can't wait for you to get replaced by Corviknight. How dare you insult Skarmory? I love me, Armor Bird. I love Skarmory. Corviknight's Corvin great, but Skarmory's better. Yay! Oh, it fully heals. Guys, we got awesome. about we got about five minutes left. No problem. Okay. Yay. Oops. Wrong button. Neck neck. Wait. Dang, this Skarmory is taking a lot of damage. Yeah, it's almost like it's a boss. I think I'd be more upset than anything if the bosses didn't weren't still at least a little tough. Though, uh, once we get access to the uh, conga line of death, as I like to call it, this yeah, game is going to feel a little good. I just call it the personal monster house. The personal call monster, the house. monster house. You are the monster house. Skarmory down. Wait a minute, Patrick. I'm the maniac. <laughs> so unlucky right now. I've had to traverse all three floors fully to get to the uh, stairs in Mo uh, Mount Steel so far. I'm just now on floor four. Also, gold, the thing about Mystery Dungeon is you replenish health when you're not fighting and just walking around. Yep. Alright, Mount Steel for eight. Congratulations, you're still behind me. Ooh, got a Thunder TM. Don't make me get the crowbar again. <laughs> oh, no, you don't, Pincer. Nice try. So do you guys think it's going to be worth grabbing camps for this race or no? What do you mean? For, like, when you're in dungeons and Pokemon want to join up. Oh, right, that's true. That could be... Ooh. I can go to Tiny Woods for this dungeon. Hi, Skarmory. Buddy! Can I start next to stairs, please? No? Okay, cool. <laughs> yes, more members needed. All oh, right, they no longer have their normal Pokemon cross. I forgot about that. Camp corner. Sleeping Cyndaquil. To the floor of Voltorb is. It's that dream again. Oh, look, the Gardevoir. You know, the name Voltorb actually makes me think of that show I heard about on Cartoon Network called Voltron. Yeah, Voltron is a bit of a different beast, though. That's yeah. a giant mecha, in a sense. Yeah. Alright, Skarmory's done. Also, it's way older than Pokemon. So to be fair, um, the new Voltron that was on Netflix, Legendary Defender, is real good. So I hear. It was done by the Avatar team. Well, that makes sense, then. Okay, well, okay, well, that's, <laughs> all, that's all the jobs I've got for right now. <gasps> Wait a minute! I get access to the greatest joke in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon history! What? Wait for the cutscene. Come on. Oh. Oh, another on. Bronze Dojo ticket. Well, Wolf is flinch god. Man, my feet feel like they're still walking on air. Feet? <laughs> he has them? Feet? What's a feet? That's the best joke in the history of the franchise. <laughs> It's like the only proper joke they tell, but it's amazing. Because <laughs> we've confirmed, yes, Diglett do feet. Yep. Feet on Diglett is confirmed. Now, what? what how many feet? Uh, that answer is still a secret. At least two. It's actually uh, nine. He has eight. an uneven number, just because. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. They're actually an octopus, an Earth octopus. Oh. All right. Well, as long as I'm here. Hello, Mr. Earth Octopus. You're Make across a, a pit. List of camps. Hello, giant armor steel bird. Grass type. She's gonna murder me. No. Don't lose my flight. Don't murder me, Skarmory. God of War. God of War. All right. 
There was five tasks to get to Mount Steel. How many is it for the next dungeon, though? I don't remember. All right, we got ten seconds. All right. Oh, okay, I, gotta, I can at least get to the next day. Come on. Go, 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 go. Okay, well, uh, okay. Actually, when I'm in the middle of a cutscene, so uh, me too. I will. Uh... Okay. All right, I just made it. I'm good. Okay. All right. I'm done with the cutscene. So everybody, pause. Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Cyndaquil's attacking. <laughs> okay, I can leave it from here, I guess. All right. Catch us back next time for part two. Later, folks. Bees. See you.